and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about a bike <clears throat> that's new out there that was suggested to me by a viewer asking me if I would talk about the bike and so I'm going to do that on this video and the bike is the Rave Bullet GTX so you've probably heard of the Rave Bullet then they had the Rave Bullet GT well now they have the Rave Bullet GTX so each one has gotten a little more powerful than the other so first off the bike is on pre-order right now and the price is $23.99 $500 off if you buy it before or by July 31st of 2023 so if you purchase it by uh, July 31st they're expecting the ship date to be September I'm not exactly sure of the day but I just saw September of this year so you have to wait a little bit but not too long because we're already halfway into July now so September is not that far away and uh, so if you order it now you'll get it in about six weeks or so or maybe a little bit more so let's go uh, with some of the specs on the bike. It comes in several different colors. And I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check it out uh, and take a look at what the bike has fully, uh, what it has to offer. I'm just going to go over some of the things, uh, some of the specs on the bike. So first off, it is a 52 volt geared hub, rear hub motor. So it's a 1,000 watt, peaks at 1,500 watts. It has a 52 volt, 30 amp controller. I couldn't find anything on the torque on the bike, so I don't know what the torque is. It could be there in the, uh, somewhere in the descriptions and I just missed it, but I didn't see it um, myself. So I can't give you that info but i can tell you that the battery is kind of a bit weird battery situation here so it's got on the down tube on the front of the down tube it's got one battery and it's got a second battery underneath that on the other side of the down tube so the one facing the front facing up is the is a 20 amp hour 52 volt and the other one's an 8 amp hour a kind of odd size on the other one on the smaller one there. but anyway so that'll give you 28 amp hours not bad and the charge time for those batteries is seven hours on the 20 amp hour battery and on the on the eight amp hour battery you got a two and a half hour charge time and the charger that comes with the bike is a is one charger to three amp 52 volt so three amp is pretty typical with bikes uh, a lot of times with the uh, grizzly aerial rider grizzly i got two two five amp that's with v2 two five amp chargers so that was really nice uh other things this bike has it's a full suspension it's got hydraulic disc brakes, four piston. The tires, they're actually using V Moto E Huntsman tires on the bike. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, they're 20 by four inch dual sport. So uh, if you want to go uh, road, on road or off road, they're good for both. It has a headlight. And then it has an integrated uh, tail light and brake light. The seat height 
is 32.7 inches. So I think they're listing uh, riders five foot four and up, I believe uh, is what I saw there. Um, what else can I tell you? The bike weighs about 85 pounds with batteries and the payload capacity is 350. The bike is a class two slash class three. Uh, top speed, you can get it up to uh, unlocked. Uh, they're saying 35 miles an hour, so that's pretty quick. Uh, it does have three levels of assist for pedal. The batteries I should mention are Samsung 21700 uh, cells. And the bike looks really good. I mean, I like the looks of it. It's a little bit different. Uh, and uh, I don't know what to make of the price at $23.99 for this bike, whether that's high or like at the sale price. I think at the uh, full price, that's too high. I think $28.99 is a bit on the high side, but um, I would shop around a bit. But at $23.99, it's probably not terrible i don't know if it's the greatest deal out there or anything but it's not terrible i mean it's right in line with a lot of bikes uh, that have similar to offer i would probably have preferred uh i probably would have preferred 20 uh 220 amp hour batteries as opposed to the odd sized eight amp hour battery that's kind of odd to me it should have had two 20 amp hours, but <clears throat> anyway, it does have that. So check it out. I will leave a link uh, for you in the descriptions to go and have a look. Let me know in the comments what you think of the bike. That's the Rave Bullet GTX. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.